I'm thinking, leave your comments below. Do you think England will qualify for the 2014 World Cup in Brazil? Ooh, don't, I'm not sure. But if we don't qualify, I'm not going to be crying because, let's face it, we're not exactly the best team at the moment. You look at the group we're in with. Montenegro, if I can even pronounce that, rubbish. Ukraine, useless. Poland are pathetic. But we're not exactly that great, because I mean, if we were a good, if we were really a good side, we'd run away, we'd be on all these teams with these, and be running this group, we boom, gone, qualified already, but hasn't been like that, we've drawn at home to Ukraine, we've drawn in Montenegro, we've drawn in bloody Poland, they're not, all those results are terrible, I mean, San Marino, they just can't afford it. Moldova, come on, they're shite. The other three games we have won. Um, and we've got to go to Ukraine. We should be Poland, the Montenegro at home, we should. But we always another man. I mean, the squad is not balanced. Wayne Rooney's like Messi, a club form. Rooney is world class, but fortunately for England, he can't be world class. Look at Messi for Argentina. Is he the greatest player in the world when he plays for Argentina? Far from it, just like Wayne Rooney. The sir I don't believe there's enough service for Rooney. He's not playing where he should be a front player. Now, he should be the front player, Wayne Rooney. You know, a few injuries in England are knackered. I mean, being half Irish, also, I support the Republic of Ireland. Ireland, when I was a kid, Half the players came from England if they had Irish parents or Irish grandparents, like Andy Townsend, born down the way in Maidstone, he had an Irish mum, and he opted to play for the Republic of Ireland. These days, the Irish, who are again, were also in virtually the same, but haven't got the biggest squad, haven't got the... they got a few decent players like England have, but not a full squad. And when you look at it, Ireland are not exactly finding anything to pick in England because Roy Hodgins hasn't got enough to pick from in England and if we don't qualify I'm not going to call for Roy Hodgins head because he, Roy Hodgson, he has got a task hasn't he, to put a team together with no injuries, he can't afford the injuries and to put his best team together I mean who was the best player for England yesterday? Frank Lampard, 35 and after that, you're probably looking at still Steve, Steven Gerrard. And he's not exactly a spoon chicken anymore in the football world. He's getting on a bit. John Terry's getting old. And these players have not been replaced. So, the future for England doesn't look good. I mean, well, we didn't qualify in 94 hours guide. I hate Graham Taylor. I mean, I thought the sun, I'll say again, I honestly thought the sun... When so a turnip calling it Graham Taylor was an insult to turnips. Cole Palmer should never play for England. Oh, I hate Cole Palmer. You don't play defensive against San Marino. Yeah, we had Paul Gascoigne injured. We had enough decent players that have qualified for USA ninety four. And that and that thing about well, you know, Ronald Cuman committed a penalty and David Platt got a free kick into the penalty. Yeah, but by the time we got to Holland, we should have we should have been should have qualified. I mean, just look at Euro ninety two. We had the players, and he picks all the shittiest players. I mean, what Keith Curl, shite, Tony Daly, full of plug pace, and that's about it. And again, yeah, Colton fucking Palmer. I mean, Chris Woods. When we had David Seaman, what the fuck? So we're picking some of the worst players you could think of putting in an England shirt. We actually, we had so many, so many brilliant players that could have actually played in Euro 92, could have played in the England squad. And Graham Taylor never ever kept to the same squad. So he was shite. Steve McLaren, yeah, the 
twat with your umbrella and not fucking to the back him. But Roy Hodgson, he qualified in 94 with Switzerland, my other team. And I was all blessed with great countries to support. But it's all good fun. More chances to lose on penalties. But, yeah, he's already qualified for the World Cup with Switzerland back in 94. So, really, and he's shown what he can do at Fulham, West Brom. I don't think Liverpool gave him enough time. But overall, I think Roy Hodgson that was the best the best manager for what England have got, which isn't much. And when you see what's happening in Scotland, I mean, Scotland, they used to always qualify. Yes, about it. But look how far, you know, Scotland have dived. And unfortunately, people think England are going that way. Now they're wearing a Nike. Yeah, England won the 2003 World Cup of Rugby wearing Nike, but England won't. England are going that way. You know, what what English football has to look at is getting the, getting the youth players through. Like they've done in Germany, like they've done in Spain, like they're doing again in France. we really got to start bringing a crop of decent English players through. Or England, it won't be a matter of will we qualify, it be a matter of we just ain't going to qualify anymore because we're, we're just slid right down and as I said if England don't qualify for the World Cup I won't be going because I can feel they you know that we actually ain't good enough what we're gonna do we probably if we qualify could get to the World Cup quarterfinals if we avoid a few teams like Spain Germany Brazil and all that but as I said before these are alarming days for the England national team. Not enough fresh players coming through. Not enough talent. Really now, the English, if the English FA have to sort things out at grassroots level, or England, we won't be seeing England at tournaments. So, that's what I think about England in a whole, and England qualifying for the World Cup. Leave your comments below. You can like it, you can dislike it, you know. But as I always say, thank you for oh, thank you very much for viewing my video. I'll be Matt GFC 893 and I'm out.